Turnovers will either make or break a football team, and unfortunately for the Warriors, last night it broke their chances of repeating as WAC champs. But despite throwing five interceptions, Hawaii still managed to stay close throughout the 27-7 loss at Boise State. We're right back in the same old turnover deal. We can't turn the ball over five times. We got two turnovers. They're one of the top defenses in the country, and the second half they showed that. Uh, we just killed ourselves with the interceptions and um, really give our defense a chance uh, to stop them. When they're just playing on half the field for the whole second half. Um, short field, long field, doesn't matter. We got we pride ourselves on getting three and outs, and and if you get a three and out, no matter where they are on the field, you might give up a field goal, but they don't score. And so um, we don't look at those circumstances. That that really didn't play a part in anything we did. The WAC championship run may be done, but Hawaii still has a lot to look forward to. UH still needs to win four of their final six games to earn the automatic bid to the Hawaii Sheraton Bowl. Well, we were in a single elimination uh, situation for the WAC championship, and Boise beat us, and they're still in the race. I would think it'd be a miracle for us to be in the race now. So we have two more goals. We want to graduate 100% of our players, and we want to go to a bowl game. So we have six games, and we have to win uh, four of them. And Hawaii will try to get back in the win column next weekend against Nevada. Kickoff is set for 6.05 at the Aloha Stadium. And How's it going, everybody? Three and four Warrior football team returned home today following last night's 27-7 loss to 15th-ranked Boise State. Now, UH kept it close early as Warrior quarterback Inoke Funaki played solid in the first half. Daniel Libre's first touchdown of his injury-plagued senior season left Hawaii down just three at the break, 10-7. Now, early on, Funaki got plenty of help from his receiving core, especially one of the biggest bright spots of last night's game, senior Greg Salas. He logged five catches for 75 yards, including that one-handed grab. But as the game went on, Broncos' defense just too much for the Warriors. Funaki finished his night going 17-34, 188 yards passing, no touchdowns and five interceptions. And on the flip side, Broncos freshman quarterback Kellen Moore went off. 25 of 33, 256 yards passing, three scores for him. Broncos remain undefeated on the year. Warriors now fall to two and two in the Western Athletic Conference. The game was devastating, man. We went in there, right to the right game plan. Um, you know, try to execute our things, but you know, we made a couple of mistakes like turnovers and, and penalties, which was cost us. And with a team like Boise State, it's very disciplined. You, you can't like, you can't win like that. You know, Coach Mack got this 48-hour rule. When you, you know, get over it. And that's behind us. We're going to get ready for Nevada and uh, accomplish the goal that Coach Max out for. Our season's not over. We still got a bowl game to look forward to. And, you know, we just got to win these uh, upcoming games and take one week out of, out of, you know, one week at a time. We have Nevada next week, and they're a good team. So we got to start, you know, practice, practice hard and learn, watch the tape and learn from this past week. So as you heard, up next for the Warriors, Nevada at Aloha Stadium one week from tonight. Wolfpack beat Utah State today 44-17, improving the 4-3 and on the year, 2-1 and in the WAC. UH has won three straight over Nevada. Kickoff set for 6-0-5. It was in the first half, but the second half was a completely different story as the Warriors committed too many turnovers. The Broncos' defense completely shut down the Warriors in the second half. Quarterback Inoke Funaki threw five interceptions on the night, but maybe a bigger cause for concern is that the Warriors have now failed to score any points in the fourth quarter for the fifth straight game. Man, it's just, it's just tough to tell you the truth, because you really, really got those points on the board. And uh, uh, with, with turnovers, man, it's, man you, just can't, uh, you, can't, you can't accomplish that, the penalties and everything. So I don't know, we're just going to make some adjustments. Uh, I'm pretty sure the coaches see that, we see as a team. We all going to get better and uh, get ready for Nevada this week. As Michael just mentioned, the Warriors will try to bounce back next Saturday as they host the Wolfpack at Aloha Stadium. And the Warriors have never won at Boise and are now 0-4 on the road. And the bigger the group, the bigger the difference, especially when it comes to putting some 